This is the new generation of Jordanian politics. Allah Ahmed Qada is 23 and a political activist. He's here to interview Ahmed Dahar Amr, one of the youngest election candidates. It's a Facebook Live interview, and the target is young voters. The most important thing young people need is to work. They have huge capabilities, but unfortunately they don't have real opportunities. Amr is 30. He's an engineer with a degree in journalism and a father of three. He says he's not like the old generation with their false promises. In fact, he's not making a lot of promises. But like his campaign slogan, hashtag we can do it, he's confident he can make a difference. He says he's not a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, but he's running as a candidate on their list because they have the organization to help him. Qada and his colleague Ahmed Hassan al Nabat are both medical students. They're interviewing candidates around the country to help young people decide who to vote for. They've been disappointed with previous members of parliament. They're just in it for the business, for prestige. He wants to wear a suit and ride in nice cars, and when he becomes a member of parliament, he will change his phone number and live in Amman and abandon the people who voted for him. At a cafe in central Amman, we meet a group of university students who say they all plan to vote. But days for the election, they're not sure for whom. I will vote for someone who can make changes in this country. After I finish university, I want to be able to find a job. But there are many Jordanians who don't believe their vote will make a difference. For this election, Jordan has lowered the voting age to 17 from 18. That means almost 200,000 young people have been added to the list of first-time eligible voters. But fewer than half of potential voters actually turn out on Election Day. And for young people, that percentage is even less. Bara and her sister Hiba say they haven't found anyone yet worth voting for. I don't know what they can give to the country, so I won't give my vote to anyone. No one has more at stake in Jordan's future than young people. But many believe Parliament is part of the problem and not a solution. Jane Arath, Al Jazeera, Amman.